Hi, I'm Brian Ierson. I'm one of the trainers with the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, I'm going to add automation to the background page, and then we're going to save this as a template so that we can reuse and have the information auto-populate in the future. So, to get started, I'm going to take the file that I made last video, and I'm going to bring up the background page called Base with Legend and I'm going to select the text box that we created. To make things easier to see I'm going to rotate the text box back to horizontal. With the text box now horizontal we're going to begin adding fields so that these pieces of information, the name of the project, the date, and the name of the client will auto-populate in the future. To insert fields, we will go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, and we will look in the text group of commands, and there you can see field. Currently, it is grayed out because I am not actively in that text box. So if I click into the text box and set my cursor where I want to insert the name of the project, I can now see that the field is no longer grayed out, and I'm going to simply give it a quick click. This opens the field window where you can choose from a wide variety of available fields. You have the ability to choose to insert shape data, date and time, document information, page information, geometry, object information, user-defined cells, or even create custom formulas. Now this is going to be a document property, so I'm going to choose document info, and here you can see all the different available fields associated with the document information. Now I'm going to use the title of the file. I can apply formatting. In this case I want this to be text so I'm going to leave this as a text format and simply click OK. We won't see anything yet but as we enter information into our properties we'll see this begin to populate. Next thing that we're going to do is add the date field. So here again I'm going to set my cursor after my date. I'm going to go back up and insert a new field and I'll use a date and time field. And I'm going to use the last edit date and time. So that is going to basically be when this document was last opened and modified. I could also choose to use the current date but that would mean that every time I open this it would be the current date that would be entered. So you have choices in these options and think about them all and make the appropriate one. And actually for this demonstration I'm going to use the current date and time instead of the last edit date. I like the date format as month, day, year but I can click the date format and choose an appropriate one that I would like. So from the format I would actually like to use the fully spelled out month and then click OK. I get my little example right there and I'm going to tap OK again. The last one that we're going to add will be for the client name. Now I'm going to go back to my fields. I'm going to go back to my document info and I might want to consider using one of these other options to help me out in this case. I'm going to use subject. This is a random choice on my part but you can choose any of these that you would want to use to enter in the client's name. So with that chosen I'm going to again tap OK and we have those pieces of information ready to go. I'm going to reconfigure this so that it is back to the original setting. So I'll rotate this again 
and reposition my text field. And in this case, I'm going to make this a little bit taller or a little bit longer. Before I go and start adding information to populate the project name and the client information, I might want to consider the fact that I intend to use this over and over and over in future projects. So I want to go ahead and save this as a template for future use. So to do this, again, we'll go to File and use Save As. If you are a keyboard shortcut user, you can use the keyboard shortcut F12. Now with my Save As chosen here, I will browse to where I want this to be saved. And in this case, I will go ahead and put it into my Documents and put it in my Custom Office Templates and I'm going to rename this as future actually I'm going to rename this as base template and I'm going to change this from being a Visio document or drawing into a Visio template tapping save I now have my template document so if I were to close this current file, now that I've closed my template file, I need to go ahead and create a new document based off that template. To do this, we're going to go to File, and we're going to choose New. Now you can see there are plenty of pre-existing templates available to you. You can even search online from Office we are going to go to the list of categories and we're going to choose new from existing this is how you can access your saved templates so choosing this option and tapping the create button will open the new from existing window where you could search wherever you have saved your files or your templates I should say locating that template you can go ahead and open it or I should say create new and we have a new file with all of this information in place. Now I'm going to go off of my background page to my page one and you can see we have the date in place but now we want to get the project name and the client name in there and to do that we will go ahead and modify properties associated to the file. Here again I'm going to go to file on the left I'm going to choose info and you can see the list of properties that are available here. Now we added in the title field as the project name so I'm going to just call this ABC project and then for the subject I'm going to put in the name of my client so I'm going to just call this ABC Corp. With those pieces of information added to the file or to the files properties I should say I can now click back out of there and you will notice that those pieces of information are now automatically populated I never have to worry about putting it into different locations because I'm using the fields I only ever need to enter that information once into the document properties and then wherever that field is in play it will auto populate here again if I save this as a template I'll be able to reuse this over and over in the future so once again I hope that you enjoyed today's little video if you did please go ahead and give this video a like if you like what you are seeing in these videos please go ahead and subscribe to our channel we do put out new videos on a weekly basis you can also find us on Facebook LinkedIn, Instagram. If you would like to find more information, please don't hesitate to visit us at tcworkshop.com to see what kind of classes we have coming up.